Hi guys, it's me Danielle Danny Buttons and I am back today to do some more flip throughs of some Disney color by number French coloring books. So you've probably seen these on my channel before because they are some of my favorite books. I have four to show you today. I actually have, well now I have three more pre-orders on the way but they have to wait till they come out so I'll just do another haul when they get here. These I ordered all of them in January and they came slowly. Obviously they came as they were released, like they didn't take this long to get here. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna show you four that I haven't shown you. And I might, I think that's all. I'm trying to look at my last video to see what else. I also, I think have gotten two, um, what are you called, bookmarks since my last haul that I didn't show you. I don't have them right now. I was just gonna stick to the color by number, but if you wanna see the bookmarks, let me know. I also just placed another order because I'm addicted. And again, I that includes some pre-orders, so things will get here slowly. We'll see how it goes. And in that new order, I bought this same style book in non-Disney, and I'm very excited and nervous about that. I might do flips when those get here. But anyway, I'm going to flip them from the oldest to the newest which I don't know if that's silly, but yes, the oldest is this Pixar volume two. So I now have volume one and two. I'm actually not a big fan of these, but I got them just to complete the series. Um, my problem with this, I have told you time and time again, I personally love the style with the black outlines and the Pixar ones don't tend to have the black outlines. So they are not always my favorite. I'm actually getting more used to the non-black outline version um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. At this point, I'm just collecting them. Um, my disclaimer at the beginning of all of my Disney flip videos, if you are just starting out with collecting, I very much recommend looking at the answers because not every book contains every character. I'm actually working on my chart. I started this a while back and then I just never got to finish it, but it's essentially a master list of which movies are represented in which books i've only done i typed it all out I'm, I'm looking at my computer screen right now i typed it all out and i did tomb one so far but for example snow white images are page 20 59 and 97 of tomb one so in theory when i finish all of this i'll be able to share it with you guys like in a link and then if you're like oh man my favorite movie is the great mouse detective you'll be able to see which volumes have the great mouse detective i'm not going into more depth so i'm not going to put like who each one is that's way too much but it'll definitely give you an idea and i'm also including like all sequels in one so for example i have like um cinderella with little star because in some of the later volumes they have uh images from the directed movie sequels so direct to video sequels but anyway that's a lot of housekeeping into this pixar tomb 2 with buzz on the cover and i am showing you the answers for this first one i'll show an example of a blank page in case you really have never seen them before you can't tell what it is or at least that's the goal we have our color key at the bottom and then just a big blank mess at the top so these have 100 images each let me get to the front and here we go. So this one has all the way up to Toy Story 4. I'm probably not going to name every single person because that'll take us a while. Different volumes have different ways of listing them. So this one does actually have their names. So it says Eve and Wally, um, Jack Jack from Incredibles 2, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Some of them will have years in them. Some of them will just have the movies. So it all changes up this has a lot of the newer movies that's what's happening the newer volumes are including more of the newer movies which of course that makes sense so yeah i don't know you might want to start with the old ones if you like the older stuff but again i'm hoping to get that list out to you guys soon but yes here we go jack jack as you can see with the pixar they try to focus on shading which is nice if you like that look but also that usually means you need more colors in the same shade range because like for her skin that's one two like probably three to four colors of just like tan skin colors but anyway all right next page more Incredibles 2 Ratatouille uh, Brave Wally -E, Inside Out Good Dinosaur these or this volume is all pretty simple just focusing on the character almost portrait style 
I don't remember what Forky's friend's name was. Was it just like Knifey? Probably. A lot of cars from cars. Coco up. And it's also fun because it does have their names, but it has obviously their French names. So some of them are not the same as their English name, which is how I found out that Goofy is Dingo, which is now I call Noodles a little Dingo all the time. But, ooh, Bugs Life. You don't see a lot of Bugs Life. Oh no, Marlin getting attacked by Becky. Onward. More Bugs Life. What is happening there? Oh, the dad from Onward? <laughs> so, it's very stylized, and if you like it, that's perfect. Not my favorite, but I don't know. I haven't tried any in here yet. I'll have to try. Why not try? Hopefully this is sl slow enough. What is his English name? <gasps> now I can't remember, because I see Leon, but that's not it. Oopsie doodle. Um, yeah. I thought that was lemon slices, but it's wings. <laughs> yes, my guy fear. It's my fave. So there you go. That is Pixar, a volume two or tomb two. I'm going to have all of these linked down below. You've also heard me mention this a ton of times, but I purchased mine off this website called Larica. It is a French bookstore that has free worldwide shipping so I find that that's the best deal for me here in the U.S. Um, shipping on Amazon France with killer here next up is villains I was waiting a long time for this so I'm very excited let me skip to the end okay so villains here we go a few things to note about this. As you can already see, these images are getting much, much more intense compared to the earlier books. So not only is there tons and tons of colors, is they're just getting very detailed and you're seeing a lot of horizontal instead of vertical, which a lot of the newer books are leaning towards that. The plus side is obviously the images like are different and there's a better variety. Um, they're doing more scenes than just focusing on portraits. The downside is it's much more intense. So instead of a page taking an hour, it might take two or three hours. So it's really a trade-off in whatever you're liking. I love this Pain and Panic and Hades. These are my favorite villains, Hades and Ursula. So it's nice to see them both. There are some comparatively simpler pages in here and you can always do different things to make them simpler. I try that sometimes. So for example, with the horned king you could just do the background all solid like you don't have to worry about going around every little thing Chernabog also you could do the whole background solid you don't have to you can keep doing this um queen of hearts these walls you can ignore that patterning if you so choose obviously the details are really nice but it's a lot so if you don't have time and don't want to do a lot you don't have to do a lot why don't I remember this scene? This must be when he's going to pitch the hat. It's a bowler hat guy from Meet the Robinsons. So yeah, you get ones like this Cruella is not too intense. This Lady Tremaine is not too intense. But then look at the background on this Shere Khan. That's a lot. So it's up to you. Captain Hook. That's a fun Pete one. What is that from? Oh, the three mus musketeers. Also, this one's kind of some spoilers that there's some villains that you might not have known were villains from the beginning of the movie. But oh, I love Dr. Facilier too. Is he right next to that other one? No, that's weird. They have Devil Kronk and Angel Kronk, but there's a few pages in the middle. Gaston, that's Sam's favorite. Ooh, Vanessa. That's a good Vanessa picture. Another little spoiler. Look, and these two King Candy pictures, but they're like four apart. Yokai. Ooh, that's cute. What? I don't think that's from the original Cinderella. I think that's from a sequel, right? I don't remember that image at all. Edgar. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa, what the heck is that? 
That it must be from the Black Cauldron, like the house. That's pretty scary. Chernabog again. Fantasia. Must be more Chernabog scenes. Intense. Tamatoa. That's a good one. A lot of Zootopia. Jesse. I didn't know he had a name. <laughs> So, I don't know how much commentary you want, but here, oh my goodness, that one's intense too. What is that from? Sleeping Beauty? That's intense. That one would be hard for me. But it's fun. Like, have you ever seen an Oliver and Company picture of Sykes? No, I have not. So there we go. Ended on a tiny... A little bit easier ones. I haven't done anything in any of these yet. So I need to get to work. But I'm excited to. So that's Villains. Next up, I'm very excited for this one. This is Mickey and Friends. This is essentially the sequel to Mickey, Donald & Co. Which was another volume dedicated to Mickey and his friends. Um, this one has a lot more characters than that first one did. I love the first one. It is one of my favorites in the series because it is very simple and straightforward. Every single page has black lines. It looks to me like every single page in here has black lines too. But as you're going to see... We're super intense again. This also answered the question. This picture specifically has one through zero, A through Z, and then starts on Greek letters. So there are, what does that mean? 39 colors in that picture. What? That blows my mind. Uh, whew, that's a lot of colors. So again, I personally would potentially be combining some of those colors. I don't know if I'll have 39, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, you're going to notice in this book also that there are tons of horizontal pages instead of vertical. My biggest problem with the horizontal versus vertical is that the numbers are still all listed vertically because they are trying to trick you. Like you're not supposed to know what it is, but that can get a little bit confusing. But if you can tell again, it looks like every single page has black outlining, which I love. So this is one of those books that I might just do the black outlining and not worry about filling in complete pages. Because for me, if I finish all the black outlining, that just leaves me with a, a coloring book still, you know what I mean? So that's exciting. I don't know where every single image is from, but these ones, they say... Oh, wow, in English too, that's pretty good. So it says the French name and the English name and the year the cartoon is from. So if you wanna go look these up, that might be a fun thing to do. Like it says, Dingo va a la pêche, how to fish, 1942. And that's pretty good. So there's Daisy in here. There was not one Daisy in the last volume. I love Daisy. Um, so I'm excited for that. But, and there's a lot of ducktails. So it's all a good time. Pete. Some of the images are from the same scenes as the volume one book, but they're just different, more detailed images. That was definitely a scene in volume one. A lot of, if you are a fan of some of the duck spinoffs, there's a lot of them. So there's some dark wing duck and some duck tails. And I think these are like specific episodes of duck tails. The Mickey and the Beanstalk, a lot of good stuff. But yeah, you're seeing a ton of horizontal. A ton. I did this one, I just did the black outlining for. So if you saw my last completed pages, that's what I did. Oh, and obviously the Chippendales is from Chippendale Rescue Ranger. This one, they say it's from an extremely goofy movie, but it is 100% from a regular goofy movie. So I'm offended. But other than that, they did pretty good. Just because I can't imagine that little girl didn't age up at all when Max aged. So, typo. Caught ya. But yeah. <laughs> well, I'll show you my other typo when we get to it if I remember. So, what's interesting about this one, the first volume of the Mickey book, they had them all in order of when they were released. So, they were in time order and this one is all over the place. Yes, okay. This is a Mickey's Christmas Carol page and it says home sweat home. <laughs> so hopefully when I actually do the page, I will remember to put home sweet home instead of home sweat home. Noodles is barking and I am not sure why. She is in the bedroom and I'm, I thought I left enough space for her to get out. But we will see if the barking continues. Yeah, 
there's some simpler ones that are just black and white. I really love this daisy one. I might make her eyelids purple instead of gray though. And there we go. This one is maybe one of my favorite pages. So that is Mickey and Friends. Okay, and then the one that just got to me yesterday. Finally, I was worried this one was lost, but it got here. It was, you know what happened? I don't know about anyone else. The second I messaged them and I was like, oh, it's missing. Then it came and I was like, ugh. It came literally about half an hour after I messaged you. I'm so sorry. And she's like, oh, no problem. Happy coloring. This is Le Grand Classiques a Tomb 9. I'm going to show you the other eight of all of these. I think I'm in love with this volume. I'm surprised, but I really like it. Well, let me show you. So the negatives, in my opinion, are again that... There is not really black outlining. This is kind of their hybrid style where there's some black outlining, but not on everything. So you can even see it's on the flamingo stick, but not on the queen herself. But these backgrounds especially are so bright and colorful. And comparatively, even though they're fun and intense pictures, they are not a thousand million colors. They're more straight colors, which is my favorite way to do this. So yeah, you can see that some of them only have like 10 colors, 11 colors. So here we go. This one's really cute. Frozen 2, Treasure Planet. Another weird thing, I've mentioned this before. I need somebody who lives in France to let me know. All... 30 of these books, not one Tarzan page. Do they not recognize Tarzan as a Disney movie? Is Tarzan offensive in France? Let me know. It's very interesting. This book has a lot from Raya, which I have not seen yet, which is unfortunate, but that's fun. It has some Luca. It has some Encanto. So if you are in love in all the new movies, this might be the one for you. I have to watch Raya. I'm so sad. I love watching new Disney movies in theaters. So that's why I did get to see Encanto in theaters. That was like our first movie in years. Oh, there's a soul page too. I'm sorry, I'm very chatty for these flip throughs. You can just mute me and put it on double speed. Like I love this Pascal picture with the fun background. So Moana, another Encanto, so cute. I always love rabbit pictures, specifically rabbit from Winnie the Pooh, not just bunny pictures, but but aren't these backgrounds a lot of fun? And these are like medium intensity. So something like this, this um, pain page, that's really dark. So I would just pick lighter colors. <laughs> I might keep his skin, I guess, matching, and then I would just lighten up the background. You can do that. It's not hard to do that. So that is what I recommend there. This terrified me. I haven't watched Treasure Planet in a really long time. I might need to because some of these are scary. Also, I was like Hercules, but yeah, this is one of the villagers. So Hercules is my fave. Jungle Book, that is dangerous, my guy. But, oh, Luca the cat. And then you get some, like, how cute. Uh, they're so cute and bright and colorful. Also, Pinocchio as a boy, never see that. So, cute, cute, cute. I'm very excited to do one in here as soon as possible. So, there we go. Ugh, love it. That is Tomb 9. Let me know what you think about any of these. I will have them linked down below to Larika. If you are making your first ever purchase and use my code, you get 10% off. I get 10%. It's a great deal, but you can always purchase without using my code. Also, these have been spotted on Amazon France. I've purchased from Amazon UK. I've heard people get them from Amazon Canada. Uh, every once in a while, one or two will show up on Book Depository and Amazon US, but overall, I've gotten the best deals since I found Larika. So that's that on that. Let me know what you think. Um, who is your favorite that you want to look out for? Can you see them all? No. You can see some of them, but I love these books so much. Uh, they're, I, like, I think they're a great deal for 100 pages. They're very high quality. They're a lot of fun. And that's it. I have more pre-ordered on the way. There is a bestiary one coming out, 
with Miko. There's Girl Power. There's Under the Sea. Um, those are the three I know about so far. I'm getting a few more non-color by number. And like I said, I'm getting two of these size and style books that are not Disney. I'm excited and nervous. They don't have the black outlines. So we'll see how that goes. But I feel a lot less pressure with not Disney ones to be like matching perfectly. So it should be interesting. Let me know. I might do one out of this for our April Disney coloring page. If you have not seen those, I do one a month. Uh, talk through my process. And I think that's it. Noodles is still barking away. Ay, ay, ay. If you made it to the end, it looks like we hit 20 minutes, so I can do a code word. So if you made it to the end, I guess we're going to say Jafar, because he's on one of our covers. And that's it. So thumbs up this video if you enjoyed. Comment anything you want to comment down below, including our code word Jafar. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm a fun time, and I put out lots of Disney content. So I will see you in a few days, and I thank you, and bye.